Hey guys, what is up? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be talking to you right now. Like, I could cry. Oh my gosh. How is everyone? I'm okay. <laughs> So, in case you missed it, on Friday, January the 18th, I had surgery to have a portion of my small bowel resected due to my Crohn's disease. That was very theatrical. And randomly, tears are just coming out of nowhere. Um, I'm really happy to be back. Like, I feel good. And I'm just really thankful that everything worked out. I was in the hospital from Friday until Tuesday, uh, and then I got home a week ago today. So I've been resting and chilling out ever since. Um, just yesterday, I've really started to feel like myself again and get my energy back. So I wanted to check back in with you guys. Like you just, you don't know how much it meant to me that you were commenting on my Instagram post and all your messages and all your well wishes, like it just really meant the world to me and I really appreciate it. I gotta pull myself together. So full transparency, I have not been keto uh, ever since I had the surgery and got out of the hospital. You know, of course in the hospital, I was just subject to eat what they were giving me, which was a lot of apple juice and it was so good. <laughs> When I got home, I was just not in the mood to cook or to put a lot of effort into eating. Uh, and something I realized is that my whole meal prep process is really personal to me. And I really like the effort that I put into my meal preps. Like I like just taking the time to cook in the kitchen and come up with stuff and to do my lip syncing. Like that is a, a whole process to me. And since I couldn't really do that, my motivation to really eat keto or eat any sort of way just wasn't there. Like, and I'm the type of person where if I'm just gonna be eating a bunch of convenience foods anyway, I'm just gonna be eating a bunch of regular stuff. Like if I'm just gonna be eating Quest chips, I'm gonna eat Doritos. Like there's no point, at, at least for me. Like you do you, right? So I will say that I haven't been keto, but I have not been binging. I haven't really been overeating. I just, you know, I don't want to push any limits or anything like that. But I'm trying to figure out how much of this I want to count toward my 350 days of keto. So another thing I wanted to tell you is that I will be back this Sunday with a meal prep. So I am feeling good. Might not be able to go to the gym because your girl gets winded doing the most remedial tasks. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go to the gym, but I will definitely be able to meal prep and I'm excited. And maybe I'll just like pretend these couple weeks didn't happen and then move forward from here. Maybe I'll just lop off like five days, like something really arbitrary, I don't know. But I wanted to tell you guys, even though I'm not really eating keto right now, I'm still, once again, not binging, not eating like I don't have any sense. And you guys, I don't have any pain. I'm gonna start crying again. <laughs> Like, I just feel better and I'm, I'm just really happy about that. And I just hope it continues. I actually have a doctor's appointment today. And then I have another one in a couple of weeks and then we'll look into maybe going back on some medication or something like that. Like that's too far down the road, but I just wanted to check in and let you know that I'm doing so well and I will be back before you know it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Although if you don't watch my channel, you have no idea who I am. <laughs> I miss you and I'll be back soon.